Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to create an identity protections using Windows, uh, um, I'm sorry, Windows Hello. It's a Windows Hello. You can configure an identity protections configuration in Intune. So now let's get started. To do that, you need to go into Intune and then click on the device configuration. Once you're in the device configuration, you want to click on Profiles. Click on Create Profiles. The platform, go ahead and choose whatever you want to um, create for. I'm going to create for Windows 10 or later. Select a profile. It's going to be Identity Protections and click on create I'm going to give it a name it's gonna it's called identity it's called device configuration identity protections for Windows Hello for Business. And the title, I mean the the description, you can put anything you want here. So under under settings and configured as you can see here by default configured windows hello for business is not configured go ahead and configure it by click on enable once you enable you get a lot of options um, to configure it so the first one is minimum pin length you can configure that to um, minimum is whatever you want to it's all depend on your company's policy I'm going to put in four is the minimum. Maximum is six. Lowercase letter. I'm going to say allowed. Or if you don't want to configure, just put not config. Uppercase letter allowed. Special characters. You can either allow not allowed or require I'm going to put a require that make make it difficult to guess pin expirations you can configure pin expirations the first option is not configured the second one is never or you can choose the date the days number of days here like um, one through 730 days those are the options I'm just going to say 30 days by default. Not default, but um, a lot of company you would go with 30 days. Remember pin history. You can configure to remember pin history. The last five pin history. Enable pin recovery. It's allowed users to recover their pin. Enable. Use a trust platform module. So you can enable this for the TPM. Allow biometrics authentication. If you enable, user can use their faces to authenticate. Use enhanced anti-spoofing. Um, you can configure this enhanced anti-spoofing. So it's only available I'm going to click enable certificate for on-prem resources it's allowed you to um, a user to use the certificate on-prems enable use security keys for sign in enable windows hello security key as a logon credential for all the pcs so you can enable or disable i'm going to enable i'm going to click ok 
So as you can see, the 14 items has been configured. Scope tag, I don't not configure any scope tag here. Application rules. You can create a application rule, assign profile if or don't assign profile if OS versions equals to or less than. I'm not going to configure the application rules. So I'm going to go back here. Oops. Once I happy with my settings here, I can click OK and click on create. The policy for identity prote protection has been created. It's not been deployed yet, so you have to click on the assigns. If you want to make changes, click on the properties. Click assign to assign to the security groups you want to deploy this policy to. Assign to all users and device or all device or all users. Or you can select specific groups. I'm going to select my test computer. Click on select. So now it's going to deploy to this um, collection or this group. Once it deploy, I'm going to click say once it deploy, you can come in under monitor section to monitor your deployment status. Here's the device status, the user status, and per setting status. So that's it. That's how you configure identity protection for Windows for Windows Hello for Business. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.